Continuous fiber composite laminates exhibit many different failure modes under multi-axial loading, including matrix cracking, fiber breakage or crushing, and delamination. Capturing all of these failure modes concurrently within a simulation can be very important for correctly capturing the behavior of the laminate. Delamination creates separation between plies, which stops all load transfer between those plies affected. Load must travel to those plies through different mechanisms and load paths, which can significantly affect the failure mode of the composite structure. Autodesk Helios PFA supports material laws for subsequent modeling of both inter- and intra-laminar failure. Autodesk Helios PFA supports delamination modeling by providing a material description for cohesive elements within finite element analyses. The material law allows for initiation and evolution of damage between composite plies within a structural analysis and can simulate the effect of delamination concurrently with inter-laminar failure. The ability to capture both inter- and intra-laminar failure simultaneously in an analysis can provide huge benefits. In the example shown on the screen, a three-point bend specimen is simulated to use the inter- and intra-laminar failure methods included with Autodesk Helios PFA. Note how the fiber and matrix damage directly affects the response of the structure by spawning a delamination, which in turn drives further delamination later in the load history. The delamination and intra-ply failure must be modeled simultaneously, as we must create a separation of the plies affected by the delamination so the load path can be modified by the finite element analysis. Note how the load stroke curve changes if we do not model the delamination, or if we do not model the intra-laminar failure.